Wicked Legend here, guys. Welcome home. We continue our cruiser how-to for beginners cruiser play on uh, the Russian, the Russian uh, Kotovsky. Um, this little beast. Uh, it, it's it's a fine ship with no armor. Again, we go with the no armor model. <laughs> when you get crushed by everything <laughs> from every angle, it, uh, it's very hard to play. Uh, the guns are decent at 152. The reload isn't, though, at 9.5, uh, which kind of sucks. 152s should be a little bit faster than 9.2 compared to, like, the 2 or 3s that are not much slower, but yet 2 or 3 compared to 152 is huge, right? Um, Russian cruisers, though, they have very good velocity, so you can be... Uh, you don't have to aim as 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 good. You don't, you don't have to aim very far. You don't have to worry about your shells floating. The thing is, though, they can't sit behind islands whatsoever because you'll just be hitting the islands. You can't really shoot over them. Uh, this is my setup for it. Again, the turret reverse, uh, it's ideal. You need to be able to turn your guns fast, especially if you're making a fast turn. Uh, most of these cruisers, you're not going to be in close range. And when you do, you need those fast turning guns. Um, I went with a uh, with um, more charges for the, the Hydro. I went with Adrenaline Rush because you're going to be getting smacked. You want that reload to be lower. I uh, added one more spotter plane because you're going to be using it a lot. And uh, Concealment, which puts us down to 10.5. Which is quite nice. Again, it's a lot better than the Omaha. But the Omaha, I have it set up with this. Uh, maybe we should change that. We'll see. All right. Russian cruisers, though. Uh, again, they're really good, like most cruisers at, at Tier 5 at flanks. And uh, a few other things I... Need to answer that later. Um, here we go. Let's set it up. We're going to get the, the usual flags you would for a light cruiser. And this is a light cruiser. Uh, the cruiser that was here before was a heavy cruiser. Uh, so they made it a coal premium ship. And they added this thing. Which is, uh, which is still good. I mean, this fits in quite nicely with the line. Light cruiser, no armor, rail guns. Uh, let's go equipment quickly, actually, before we go. I have everything upgraded. Don't worry about the torps. They're only four kilometers. They're literally for safety measures. But so far, we haven't really used torps except for the Furutaka, which was last video. Uh, but it's 10 kilometer torps. These ones have four kilometer torps. Literally, if you're in a situation where you're around an island and a destroyer comes or a battleship comes, your torps are going to be your only safety net. If you can even survive it, right? But at least you can maybe get a one, one for one. Eye for an eye. Yeah. Other than that, don't even worry about your torps. Uh, most actual ships, other than DDs, should not worry about torps. Um, even if you have them, they're usually for defense. Battleship torps are for defense. The cruiser torps are for defense. So, uh, And there's a lot of cruisers, that or destroyers, that actually have almost no range for their torps. Because they're mostly gunboats. You know? um, so, hopefully we have a lot more success. I know the last few videos we haven't really had success, but again, if, as beginners, you're, you're not going to have success every time. And I'm trying to point out to you what the dangers are, and uh, hopefully we get a good team. So then we can highlight the ship, or this style of ship, I guess. We are going to be max range, once again, the bread and butter, butter max range for cruisers is ideal. We're only worrying with two ships that are two tiers higher than us, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. We can deal with the destroyers. We can deal with the cruisers. Battleships is going to be funky. This guy has really big guns, so he can probably overpen us. If we're lucky, we'll be broadside to him. He'll overpen. So let's go. We need to find a flank. We're going to pick that one. And uh, we're going to just dock as much as we can. We don't want to stay in the middle because then shots are going to come in from here and from here. And there's no dodging that. Now, we do have one cap. So if we stay semi close to it, maybe just around here. E1 and 2. E1 and 2. We'll have enough time to actually get back to the cap if something is to happen. We're going to let them know. Don't leave mid alone they might might 
mid rush. Hopefully that gives people perspective of what we're saying. And again, we have that uh, camo mod where it looks like it's a, um, a natural look, but it, it, we have a camo on. Always make sure to have camo on. Uh, it just helps with the uh, dispersion and detection. Every little bit helps. It does add up. Okay, we're going to go out wide with the Vimer. Kane hopefully is going to spot for us. Acosta is hopefully going to spot for us. The battleships are going to... What are they going to do? They're going to go more middle, which is fine. Fine with us. We have a lot better range, 15-8. Our detection is... Uh, where is it? 10? 10-5? 10-5. There it is. And then Torps. 14,000 damage each. There's 64 knots, which isn't bad, but 4 kilometers. So. Not ideal, but you never know. You might be somehow stuck at this island and you know he's coming around. Boom. You're there. Counterpoint. All right. Novo coming in hot. We're going to burn him down early. Max range. Because if he fires at us, we have a big chance of dodging when we're farthest away from him. That's a little bit more. We're going to spot it by planes here before anything else. There we go. One more shot. Shooting HE, which is fine. The uh, Frederick is shooting. Oh boy. Frederick's shooting AP. 4,000 with HE. I'll take it. We only put back 700. Which is fine. We're going to go wide. But we're going to stay wide. He can shoot us all he wants. We're here for fires. We're going to shoot him. We're going to shoot him. Let's just split it up right now. We're trying to get perma fires on both of them. If they want to waste their time shooting me. They can. We saw the shot coming in. We stopped and turned. We can do this a lot easier with this ship. And there you go. They missed. The battleships missed. I don't. Uh, the cruisers can hit me. That's fine. Battleships though. I need them to miss me. Did this guy damage conned? Oh, they got my prop. Or my steering. That's fine. He damaged conned, so we need fires on him. There's a perma fire. Now, because we're stuck turning, we should probably slow down. Because we don't actually need to go broadside to them. Even though we're about to. There's a repair. Leander's trying. But we're going too slow. Are we going too slow? Or did we speed up? Oh, we sped up. That's fine. He's going to smoke up. Not a problem. He's trying to run away with one fire. Not going to let him happen. Uh, okay. Leander's kind of being a butt. That's okay. Oh, look what we got here. This is what we need. This is ideal. He's stopping, too. Making it real easy for us. Now, what he's doing is backing up. We saw him backing up right before he smoked up. We're going to just keep shooting. That was weird dispersion. Oh, no, he's actually going forward. Look at that. Interesting. Are we far enough from the island here to shoot him? We are. No one can spot us, so might as well take this advantage. We have adrenaline rush, so half our health is down, which means we go from a 9-5 to an 8-8. We can bring it down even further. Just they have to shoot at us a little bit more. Uh, we both lost cruisers. That's fine. Oh, there we go. We actually want to focus this guy. He's a big threat for us. That guy's also a big threat for us. Now this next shot's going to be tough because battleship can see us, but we need to shoot the DDs. Ideally, that's our main target. Oh, that's a good shot. One more, and he's gone. Even though the battleship can kill us here, we did our job. And we got away with it. Here we go. He's about to shoot us now. Okay. We lost our battleship, but our battleship YOLO'd in again. 
remember guys, just because you're a battleship, that doesn't mean you can just do whatever you want. Please, you have to understand that. Especially knowing that there was a destroyer in front of you and smoke, and you just pushed forward towards him. The chance of you killing him or your team killing him before you're dead is very small. And, and there's no point to it. Now, we're going to keep farming. And I, I don't mind being spotted again. It keeps our battleships alive. Because I'd rather them shoot me and, not, and me dodge. Like this. And our battleship's dying early. And then late game, we suffer. We still need our battleships alive regardless. We still need our destroyers alive. We need, we need everyone alive. Think of it this way. And right now, we're down. We're down a destroyer, cruiser, and a battleship. But they're only destroyer and cruisers. So let's just focus him now. Get rid of him, and then go to the next battleship. You can't shoot all three of us. This is why you don't uh, self-isolate yourself. This is, you know... Um, Doing a little side questing, that's what I like calling it. When you as a player take yourself out of the battle and do weird things. I mean, the guy's at E1 and a battleship being fo focused down by three ships. No support. What could, do you think is going to happen? Yes, you're trying to flank us, but you can't solo flank with no support. It, it doesn't work that way. Now he's going to try to run away, which he can't because we can just outrange him on, on his speed. And notice I turned because he turned, right? There's no point in me leaving any more of the battle. Hey, now we go to our next target. Now we just keep adding up. And if we're dark like this, even better. Then we just get to farm them. Need to start getting fires. So far, our team's playing in a position where we can actually play the ship correctly which is straight up support we just need to make our shots closest battleship is him he's the one that we're targeting until we get two fires that are permanent or one fire that's permanent we're not going to shoot any other targets the whole point of ships like this is to get them to damage con and he's not going to make it in that smoke get them to damage con so then they can just burn you want Dots. Damage over time. Dots is what's needed. Because they can't heal that. Well, they can heal it. It's just uh, we're going through their heals. Give it that way. We want them to waste all their heals. So late game, they have nothing to do. Like nothing that's going to prevent them from burning. Uh, they're not going to get their health back at any point. Because they've wasted it all early on in the game. Again, our guys are just being... Farmed. There's really no need for it. We'll wait for the Leander to come around this corner and then AP him to death. Not getting very lucky with the fire zone. Here we go. Force spite's coming too, so we gotta be very careful here. Uh, West Virginia, I don't know what you're doing. There's a Leander. Oh. He actually beached. We're gonna... Wow. Can't believe it. Now, that would have been a perfect shot, but that's that's fine. Waterline. Someone just missed. We're not gonna miss, though. Citadels. Three of them. Now, he left his smoke to come out in the open with no smoke. This is what happens. This is why you don't smoke up and go forward. Once your smoke is done, you have no more smoke. That's Your safety net's gone. So for him to then come up forward and try to do anything against this is... There's, there's no point. He's dead. We don't even need to switch from AP because he's about to go broadside again to us. I was going to try to leave. Um, which isn't going to happen. Just our shots have to, you know, make it there. This person also plays a factor. We need this guy alive. Their whole team is over here. Okay, he's dead. Back to HE. This is where now we need to... Help him out. Please. Stop going forward. I cannot help you there.
Now we are in our camp. So uh, if these guys keep pushing, just like the game where we had the the Furutaka, the first Furutaka game, our guys did push their camp. And we're defending our camp. He's actually doing 1v1 against the other West Virginia, so I'm helping him out. These guys aren't doing anything, so there's no point of me actually attacking them at all. I'm trying to get fires on this West Virginia. We're not having much luck. Five fires only. That's not ideal. We have flags on and everything. Uh, we're just not getting the chance. Um, and there's nothing really we can do there. It, it comes down to the game wanting or giving fires away. You can see our shots aren't even making connections for some reason, but that's on us. Yeah, non-pens, which is fine getting non-pens. The fire chance is still there. It's just the game's not providing fires for us. I don't think we have one fire on this West Virginia. He's getting away with it. He's just getting away with it. Um, and you're going to have this situation where there are games where you're not going to get any fires. Why? RNG. Randomly... Uh, random number generator, which is see there you go instantly fire on him. The other guy couldn't get a fire on him Now we're gonna keep going for fires because our Queen Elizabeth is engaged and we're helping out the closest ship to us uh, Our guy's dead. He gave too much broadside We're trying to save as many ships as possible because if they're dead We're next and we have no armor for this so as long as the Queen Elizabeth is shooting him, we're shooting him. As long as the West Virginia was shooting the other West Virginia, we were shooting West Virginia. Of course, the island got in the way. We can't do anything about it, but he's about to die. Who's next? Me. So I need to help as much as I can. There's a permit of fire. At least the fires are working on this guy. Different armor profile, of course. I don't know why our shots aren't landing. We're shooting I, as close as possible to where we have to. And yet, he, well, there we go. So, this guy's next. And then so is that guy. Um, really? You know they're going to come this way. Okay, spotter playing time. We're finally going to use it. Which is great. 96 seconds of... Was it 18-9? This gives us so much room to wiggle between the shots. Which is everything we need. And again, no fires. This guy's just getting away with all, all the fire prevention. He doesn't even have to do anything and we're not getting fires on him. Even the bomb, uh, skip bombs aren't getting fires on him. Crazy. Now, our push to their cap failed. So what needs to happen now is we're down on points, we're down on ships. But they have 26 minutes with what they have now to win. That gives us enough time to kill him. Kill the war spite, kill the Helena, kill the ranger. All we gotta do is kill him. But our CV needs to leave. If our CV doesn't leave, we're in a lot of trouble. Do we have enough to dodge this? Oh, I hope we do. We do. Overpens. And again, no fires. See? This is the this is the situation that is not ideal. The whole point of the fires is it's going to help us kill him faster. But the game is literally not giving fires to us. We're not getting any fire luck. <clears throat> so we have to kill him by sheer damage. And, well, these 152s don't exactly do that. Do a battleship that's um, one tier higher than you. Right? He's still a tier higher than us. Which gives him a much better situation of surviving. And we're slowly losing health more and more to him not losing health more and more. Just We just can't get fires on him. It's... Kind of sucks. Not gonna lie to you guys. Now we have to get closer to him because we have... Or our spotter plane's gone and we have no more range. He's gonna focus now on the CV. Killing the CV. That's getting closer. Have to help out. But we can't just keep running away. That's not ideal. We need to win. We can't win by running away. That's never a situation. Now he just fired. 
which gives us an opportunity. Oh, wow. Okay. He's next. We're bringing it back. Elena's dead. But then our Ismail's dead too. So it's... Myself and our CV against a battleship and a CV. That battleship is slow. But he just needs one good hit and we're dead. We need multiple good hits and fires. <laughs> We've done good so far. 73k damage on a tier 5 is very good. We are bottom tier. They are, there are six, sixes and sevens. Uh, fortunately, we are still not in an ideal spot here. What needs to happen is he needs to die, and then we could potentially win. We haven't won yet. His guns aren't even looking our way. CV's already attacking him. He's not preemptively turning his guns to engage me, which is good. That means he's a newer player. Um, if we're lucky. If we're lucky, this is a newer player. And I'm going to use what I know to play against them. Now, if you're a newer player, always keep in mind that the minimap is going to give you all the information. Your teammates are also going to help out. There we go. He fired. Which gave me the opportunity to spot him one more time. Now, we need him not to hit us. He still hit us. We bounced. Because angling still helps, regardless of how much armor you have. We need to not die to this ranger, which we can easily die to him. We oh, got the shot off. Uh oh. Not getting lucky with fires. No, we're not getting lucky with anything, really. Again with the fires though. We're stuck at seven. We haven't had a fire since that uh Prince the Pef. Prince Idol Frederick. Just absolutely no luck. And we didn't spot him. Did he get a lucky shot? He did get a lucky shot. Slowly whittling us down. Look, that one shell hit us for three thousand. That's health we need. Because <laughs> we have four thousand left. Four thousand six hundred. One more of those. Anything that looks at us kills us. Now we need fires here. We're, we're not going to get them though. Obviously the game doesn't want us to have any fires. We need this guy dead. That is something that has to happen. And at the same time we have to not die. Trying to put in as much damage as possible. It's just it's not happening. Again, no fires. He's going behind the big island, which isn't good, because now we have to get actually in front. 43 seconds left. He has to die or else we lose. Uh, here's the biggest problem with ships like this. They just don't do enough damage. And when you need the fires to help your team, the game literally dictates if you're getting fires or not. I have fired multiple volleys now at two different battleships. That's the ideal target for me for fires, and yet the game says no, and I have no say in it, regardless of flags, fire chance, anything. It's really, really unfortunate, and, and I put myself in a position where I can't counter. He is dying, but not fast enough. And we lose. We lost kind of for nothing, but there you go. Russian cruisers, keep your distance, try to, try to burn things down. If the game lets you, you're going to be very successful. When the game doesn't let you, it's chance that your team does better than their team. Uh, the game literally took it away from us. The West Virginia should have died a long time ago due to our fires. This war spike should have done, died a long time ago due to our fires. It just doesn't happen all the time. But uh, this is the experience you're going to get with this cruiser. 
hopefully you get a good team. Again, we say that. Hopefully we get a good team. And uh, hopefully you get better RNG than I do. Even with seven fires, we still couldn't get the win. Um, quite unfortunate. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that subscriber button. Hit that follow button. And I'll catch you guys on the next Cruiser video. Bye for me.